This video is sponsored by TempCube. Hey, how's it going guys? Let me give you some perspective on an issue I'm currently facing. The fall season's here and the temperature has dropped, so we have the central heat on all the time. It's normally set to 73 or 74 degrees, so that temperature should be consistent all around. Unfortunately, there's two places where it's cooler than expected, my room and my workspace. I don't know exactly why, and when I complain about it, everyone tells me it's just me. That's where this comes into play. I was able to track the temperature and see that it, in fact, gets cooler in my areas of the house compared to everywhere else, so now I need to figure out if I need to get new windows or if it's something else. The other interesting thing I noticed when testing in their rooms is the humidity levels are a little too high there. Maybe it's a possible cause for concern? Also, this past weekend, I stayed at a hotel. The room was so cold that I woke up in the middle of the night. I had the heat running and set to around 72 to 74 degrees. And even though that was the temperature that was shown on the machine, it felt colder than that. If I had the temp cube up and running, I would have been able to track just how cold it was and let the front desk know about this issue with evidence to back it. These are a few scenarios where the temp cube is convenient to have. One reason I was able to bring it to the hotel is because the form factor is small. It almost fits in the palm of my hand outside of the mount. With or without the mount, it was easy to slip into my backpack and go. In the box this comes with a simple instructions guide, warranty card, small pin to reset the device, a prying tool to remove the device from the mounting bracket, a micro USB cable, wall outlet, and the cube on a mount that has a sticker adhesive on the back to place this on the wall. Setting it up is easy. There's an app to install available on both the Google Play and App Store. Before setting up, I'd recommend charging it as it may take 7-8 to eight hours to fully charge. The instructions guide has a QR code to download the app called TempCube. You can register your cube by scanning the QR code in the back. Finally, you can connect to Wi-Fi and it should be good to go from there. The reason as to why this needs a Wi-Fi connection is so you can check the temperature and humidity levels from anywhere. Keep note that initially when you turn this on, it'll take a few hours to adjust and set up. Once it's been on for a while and charged, you can place this just about anywhere to start monitoring. You can check the temperature levels on the app. The UI is relatively easy to understand and it gives you a little tutorial guide after registering. On the home page, you can see your current temperature levels, humidity level, as well as a graph to show the history from dates all the way down to the hour. You can even leave it for a while as this can last up to 80 days on a single charge. This has three lights that indicate how much battery is left. Green is fully charged, orange is above 25%, and red is below 25%. Now the important part, humidity levels. I mentioned earlier that humidity levels were higher in another room, but that actually may be fine, as long as it's not too high. What I found out was that temperature affects how much moisture can exist as humidity in the air, but humidity also has an effect on temperature. Humid air holds heat more efficiently than dry air. This means that during the winter, an appropriate amount of humidity can make your home more comfortable and reduce the need for your furnace to continually replenish indoor heat. And a great way to check that is with this temp cube. One important thing temp cube is trying to let everyone know is there's no subscription fees whatsoever. You can get alerts on your phone or email 24 7. That's why they initially ask for your email and phone number when registering. Alerts can be set and adjusted in the app under settings. If you ever come across any issues, they have a contact line and email that will try to resolve your issue as quickly as possible. This device should work at hotels, apartments, data centers, basically just about everywhere. There's also a one year limited warranty that can cover non battery issues. TempCube has offered a special discount to you guys if you want to check it out. The link is below.